when Adam and Eve ate from the, the tree of good and evil, when they gained consciousness, when they ate the fruit, God was angry. And they were punished. Why? What is it about consciousness that upsets the god? Why was Prometheus chained and tortured for bringing fire, culture, and society to the Greeks? This is a theme we see continued. Today we explore that in the existential psychoanalytic works of Rollo May. We are specifically looking at why were the gods angry? What about consciousness is disruptive to God? That's what it's gotta be this time. Yeah. Sun starts to set and the moon should rise. Should rise. So the first question we're forced with here is, it, are, we, are we to believe that the gods did not want us to have consciousness? If you have not watched my last video on it, I suggest you take a look. You can find that um, in this playlist. And this is a continuation of our discussion on Rollo May, his book, specifically The Courage to Create. So are we to expect that they don't? They don't want us to have consciousness. They don't want us to become self-aware. And so we are now asked why. What about that would be upsetting? Rollo May suggests that the artist is, and he refers to the artist as the saint, right? Is the individual is able to see into the future and rebel against what is wrong with today. They're an individual that's able to look past and see what could be. They rebel against the symbols and the gods that exist. Joan of Arc, all of these figures, Jesus, uh, uh, Gandhi, Buddha, these are figures that rebelled against a standard symbol. They're able to see and understand a society that is beyond that. And they, they rebel against more. They rebel against conformism, apathy, material success, uh, explosive power. They, they rebel against idols. And these are worshipped by a multitude of people. They fight against that against the bad faith, the unwillingness to engage in our, our, our existential freedom. This is the artist. They're able to connect and understand the eyeball into death. They're able to see the decay that exists. They understand it. They struggle against it. They exist in the abstract, in the form of chaos. It is this struggle, and it is of which this struggle, which rebellion is born. The creative act comes into fruition as a byproduct of this. This is the difference between art and aesthetic. This is raw. It is, it is married to the passion to exist past one's death. This is evolution. This is transcendence. Joan of Arc means more in death than she did in life. That's a fascinating idea. This is the epitome of engagement and change. And the artist exists in this area, this ethereal realm of the forms of the abstract. Because they understand that each of us at our best is a memory that will become fainter every year. Name me 50 people that lived in 500 BC. Maybe 50 people that existed in 1910. Even those that ascend to greatest decay. And they decay through the act of being destroyed by predecessors. This is the carnal act of evolution and change. And so we see re religion brought up a lot here. Because uh, religion's produced a lot of rebels. Anything that has come with strict rules of engagement has found those that will fight against it. The rebel and the saint are often the same person. At least this is what Rollo May suggests. Jesus was a rebel. Joan of Arc was a rebel. But what's important here is Jesus was crucified for it. And Joan of Arc was burned at the stake. The hero, the artist, the creative individual that is willing to change the status quo and argue on the way things are has to die for it. Has to. 
they have to be willing to die for their idea. Because what we come to understand is that the concept is of evil, I did a video on Kronos, is one of my first videos, is those that are unwilling to let themselves atrophy. Those that would rather eat the young than let them come to fruition. We have to choose the ideas that matter the most from our time. Rebel against what devalues them. And be willing to die for them if we want to become a symbol that will exist past our time. This is the hero. Picasso once said, every act of, of creation is first an act of destruction. To create this new symbol, we have to rage against the old one. This is what angers the gods. Because it is in the nature of consciousness to feel the despair that results in the creative act and will ultimately usher in the rebel, the saint. Because those that are called saints, as Rolla May says, are those who rebelled against an outdated and inadequate form of God. So if you like this video, please stick around. Next week we'll have another one of Rolla May. We have a few more coming out. Next time we'll discuss what is creativity. In the meantime, please check out another video. Like, comment, support, all of that is a huge deal. I appreciate you sticking with us. I'll catch you next week.